This is World Chase Tag. Well, it is crunch time. The title favourites, GNF, know they need to win and win big. We're looking at four evasions to book their place in the quarterfinals. That is not easy. Enzo Movement versus GNF. Chase one, GNF evading. Athletes, ready! The chaser is Gabriel, Mr. Payne. Can he bring the pain and perhaps end GNF's tournament? Well, he's claiming the tag and Mike acknowledges it. He's managed to make the tag, no lead off point for GNF. Chase two, Enzo movement evading, zero all. Athlete, ready! Gabriel Payne, he's duking before the buzzer even goes and off he goes but not quick enough as he's tagged just before the ridge. Chase three, GNF evading, zero all. Athletes, ready! Well, Bear is looking for the evasion. He trains at the same gym as these guys from Enzo, and it's Christian Anderson. No, it's not. It's Ryan Mallon who's looking to hunt him down. Round by the front line, Bear skipping away. He goes over the sisters, round to the tilted cube. Ryan just not able to cut that gap, using a bit of height, but again, he can't get there. And that is point one for GNF, and look at the celebration. Bear has managed to push them a little bit closer to the quarterfinals, but there's still a long way to go. There we go, Bear bringing it back for his team. Quite a new recruit for GNF, but he's proving his mettle here. Chase four, GNF evading, one, zero, GNF. Athletes, ready! Now it's Christian Anderson who's charged with tracking down the bear and he just hops over the tilted cube, hops under the mountain and he's going a lot of up and down movement to try and give himself options but Bear has managed to skirt across court to get away and not far enough as he tumbles out of the quad. Christian Anderson makes the tag and denies GNF another point. Chase five, Enzo movement evading, one zero, GNF. Athlete, ready! Julius Porter, this man is rapid and <laughs> slightly out of control early doors in this one. Christian Anderson can waste vital seconds around this high EQ area of the court. Julius Porter, if he can get in a foot race with him, he might be able to hunt him down. Oh my word, he has flown through the loading bay and not managed to make the tag. That was desperation stuff. He launched himself eight feet towards Christian Anderson but couldn't get anywhere near him. Julius with the young buck energy trying to come in and just overpower his opponent. Christian, really big background in martial arts, super calm and collected. Looks slow while he's moving, but really he's making the right choices, getting the right obstacles between him and his chaser. Chase six, Enzo movement evading one all. Oh. Athlete ready! First chance to see Jake Migliorata in this match as Christian Anderson just leaning on a lamppost in that back corner. Under the mountain and another tag, a second attempt for Migliorata. He is desperately searching for another point for GNF. They've got one, they need another three at least. Chase seven, GNF evading one all. Oh. Athlete, ready! Approaching the halfway point, and Jake Migliorata needs to get some points on the board for GNF to keep alive their hopes in this tournament. Doing some work around the outside of the court and then over the mountain, turns back around and wanted to go underneath, but he's tracked down, and it's another chase where they fail to get a point on the board. Chase eight, Enzo movement evading one all. Oh. Athlete, ready! Seth Ruji, one of the big names, and there's a stumble there from Kelleher, and Tegan is tagged by Seth Ruji, who makes him pay for the little error. Chase, nine, G enough, evading, one, all. Athlete, ready! The 
Goes straight at Seth Ruji. Experienced chase tagger, but starting in the base of the mountain. Are we seeing some new tactics developing over the course of this tournament? Well, he's skirting around the outside again, the base of the mountain, crawling underneath it, keeping some obstacles in the way, and a slip there from Bonitsky means that Seth Ruji has doubled GNF's points tally to two, and they edge closer and closer to the points they need, but they're only halfway there. Chase 10, GNF evading 2-1, GNF. Athletes, ready! Seth Ruji looking to double up. Big moments in this final group game. Ruji over by the ridge, idling, waiting for his man Sparlos. And he just skirts around the outside over the sisters, uses the bars onto the mountain. That is a beautiful move, and it's bought him time, it's bought him space, it's bought him points. And Seth Ruji cometh the moment, cometh the man. It's back to back points. And GNF, who were looking in all kinds of bother, are now just one point away from securing a spot in the quarterfinals, assuming, of course, they can go on and win this time. Chase 11, GNF evading 3 1, GNF. Athlete, ready! Mr. Payne steps up and look at the pace from this man as he swings round one of the bars. Seth Ruji again doing some great work up on the platforms, goes cross court once more, vaults under the ridge, round by the front line. He's just coasting here, waiting for Gabriel Payne to close him down, but it's just not happening. Under the ridge and a dive, and he's just got him. He has just got him. The lights go green. It does not matter. Seth Ruji is tagged by Gabriel Payne, and that in the dying seconds of that chase could prove to be the difference between the title favourites making it out of their group or going no further in this tournament. Mr Payne there always had the edge on the acceleration, super fresh against Seth who's already run round that court three times at this point. Well, Seth's contesting it. The lights did go green, but it was pretty clear from where we stood that the tag was made before that happened. Well, what this does do is just give a little bit of extra time to rest and recover for Gabriel Payne. And that might actually work against GNF because he's staying on to evade and those extra few seconds could be vital. As Gabriel Payne, I'm sure, is going to stay on the quad. The tag is made, Payne stays on, and GNF are still a point away from where they need to be as Davis Vasconcellos steps up. Chase 12, Enzo movement evading, 3-1, GNF. Athlete, ready! Davis Vasconcellos, he has been so icy cool so far in this tournament, but can he take down the exuberant and lightning quick Gabriel Payne? He's not panicking, Vasconcellos, as he goes over the mountain to cut down the space, but what a turn back from Mr Payne, and has he got there? No, he hasn't! That was absolutely superb from Vasconcellos, using his experience, keeping calm, and in the dying seconds, managed to make a vital tag. Ice cold, like you said. I mean, anytime he gets into the tail, he's coming back to centre, reset, and able to re-engage like a machine. Chase, 13, GNF evading, match point, GNF. Athlete, ready! Ryan Mallon steps up, Vasconcellos runs towards him and it's worked because it's just changed the momentum of this one as Vasconcellos turns again, he looked like he was going over the mountain but in the end he's just given time to stand around by the tilted cube now it's across centre court to the ridge, ducks under that, Mallon is trapped under the ridge and Vasconcellos has produced the point which takes GNF to the magical four and it looks like they're bound for the quarter-finals halfway through this match it looked miles and miles away but Seth Ruji, Davis Vasconcelos, Jake Migliarata and the rest of the team have turned this around as GNF the pre-tournament favourites will make it to the last eight.